Hi everyone, it's me Abhi from Isadora Creations presenting another crochet pattern for you guys. And that's a soap saver. The supplies here I'm using an ombre yarn from Sugar and Cream. It's 100% cotton, 56.7 grams per ball. Number 4 medium weight yarn and the recommended hook size is 5 mm. You'll need one ball of this, a 5 mm hook, a yarn needle, you'll also need some scissors and that's it. Let's start by making a slip knot. Chain 10, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now make one half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And here's your first half double crochet. Keep making one half double crochet across the end. So by the end of round one, you should have nine half double crochets. All together see how colorful this is isn't it now for round two chain one and turn your work make one half double crochet into the into each stitch around In the end, make that last half double crochet into the last stitch and you should still have 9 half double crochets in total. In round 3, chain 1 and turn your work. Make one single crochet into each stitch to the end. Hold your work this way and continue making single crochets in these stitches. And this way, yes. You have to keep making single crochets. It was a rectangle uh, shaped piece you were having up till now and now you are shaping it into a circle into an oval shape basically so make two single crochets in here and then continue making nine single crochets below the foundation chain And again make two single crochets on the vertical side I'm so sorry for the camera position I just realized that it was kind of tough for you guys to see what I was doing there 
but I just made uh, two single crochets on the vertical side and I'm not slip stitching here to finish the round and you should have 22 stitches in total by now for round four do one single crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into in the same stitch you should you have to use a stitch marker to mark this as the beginning of the round keep doing one single crochet and one double crochet both into the same stitch for all the stitches around See, the base of your soap saver is ready. You have to repeat this around for next 10 rows. Remember not to slip stitch at the end of the rows. Instead, just keep placing your stitch marker into the first single crochet. Yes, you have to do this for 10 rows. And here... Here we are done with the 10 rows and this time to end the row we will be doing a slip stitch into the first stitch. For last row chain 3 and that that counts as one double crochet and make one double crochet into each stitch around at the end snip off the working yarn sorry I forgot a uh, slip stitch at the end and snip off the working yarn Weave in the ends. Now let's make the drawstring now. Make a slip knot. <coughs> and chain 35. Plus one more chain. Now slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and keep slip stitching in each chain all the way down to the first chain. Cut the yarn and just tuck in the knots. Properly. And here's your drawstring ready. Pull the drawstring through any double crochet like this. Yes. It's gonna be difficult for the first double crochet, but uh, eventually it will it will be quite easy. Skip the next double crochet and pull through another double crochet. And skip the next double crochet and pull through the next double crochet. Keep doing this to the end.
and that's the last double crochet see it's quite easy it's easily possible to knot it now and just snip off the extra threads on the drawstring and that's it it's a super quick and easy project that can be made in just half an hour please share like comment and subscribe to my channel for beautiful patterns love love